Hey guys, how you doing? Ali here, welcome to the channel. In Oldham again, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some food at Zarak. These guys are super popular. When I started my channel and I was looking for steakhouses and places to eat, restaurants, halal restaurants, around the Manchester area, these guys came up so much. So honestly, I wanna see if they live up to the hype, you know? A lot of people say these guys are awesome. I've never eaten here before. Honestly, I've not even looked at the menu. I want to go inside and sort of surprise myself, really. Really, really excited to show you guys this because so many of you said it's absolutely amazing. So I'm trying to go in with sort of, you know, managing my expectations. I don't always expect a, hey man, that's for nine out of 10 places. But if I can get one as a racks, I'll be super, super happy. So let's go inside. Let's start this review. So what I'm going to do in this video is something a little bit different to what I usually do is actually show you two menus. So being that we're in the pandemic right Right now they've actually got a covid menu i think this is the stuff that they would make and then come maybe drop up to your car or deliver to you and then they've obviously got being a restaurant they've got a restaurant menu as well so i'll show you some of the signature dishes on there apparently that people travel from all over for on my instagram so many of you from like literally like preston and bolton and sheffield and newcastle have told me you drive to come here to eat this food so super excited to bring it to you in this video i cannot wait crack on they've been kind enough actually to show me some of the meat pre-cooking actually i'm quite keen to see uh, what the meat looks like also their lamb as well so let me just take you behind the scenes a little bit into the kitchen How good did that lamb and that steak look? The lamb looked awesome. The meat looked phenomenal as well. I am, I am hyped for this, man. I love a good piece of meat, especially if it's cooked with like tender loving care. It's not like completely charred to a crisp. It looks like they know what they're doing here. I've heard really good stuff. So I'm looking forward to that lamb and the steak. Okay, so the first dish I'm trying has come out and I have to say it looks absolutely phenomenal. This looks and smells beautiful this is pure posh i feel like i should wear a shirt and tie eating this to be honest because it just looks phenomenal this is their pan seared lamb rum it's complemented with some peppercorn sauce and veg and uh, some mash there by the way that mash is so smooth it needs to drop it. it's like skincare routine or something because it is like smooth this looks brilliant i cannot wait to tuck in what i'm going to do guys have each element separately then i'll probably sort of mix it all up and whatnot but it's just something that i do i want to try the meat on its own peppercorn sauce on its own and then sort of have it together see if it complements I'm just gonna go for the lamb first guys and it looks, oh wow, it's incredibly soft. Peppercorn sauce is a perfect accompaniment to some of the most juicy, tender, mouth-watering lamb I have tried. That gets a hey man for sure. If you're fancying a good lamb rum, which let's keep it real, it's quite hard to find. I'm blown away by how tender that meat is, how flavorful it is without being overpowering. Peppercorn sauce as well is fantastic. Guys, I'm just gonna pick up this chop here. I feel like it's proper posh in here and I'm holding things with my hands. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> the lamb is cooked to perfection. It's seasoned to perfection. That is probably one of the best lamb dishes that you are gonna have up here 100%, right? So. If you're fancying something like this, we all go for it. Super healthy as well. Let's now try the mash. Ooh, there's some asparagus there, there's some carrots and broccoli. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I eat a lot of mash. That is very smooth. Moving on now to the T-bone steak. What they've managed to do, which is lovely, is actually take all the meat off the bone, so it does the work for me. Also, something about T-bone steak, which I love, is one of the sides is a fillet. That's my favorite cut of meat. So I feel like I get the fillet, and I get another steak as well. So you get two for one, really. Let's go for the T-bone. Ooh, it just looks so good. They've got a garlic and mushroom sauce on the side. They've got some mash and veg again. And there's a stack of onion rings. That's a bit fun. <laughs> I'm so excited to actually review steak again. It's been so long. It's one of my favorite meals. So oh, I'm just oh, I'm so happy to do this. Let's tuck into this. 
Now I've asked to have this cooked uh, medium rare. That's what the chef recommends. How do you guys like your steak catch? That's always an interesting question. Let me know in the comments how you eat your steak. I think generally it depends on the type of meat you have. So for example, if you're having red meat and it's in the stew, obviously it's low cooked. But I'm saying how do you have it as a steak? So that's the dish. So none of these cop out answers where you say, well, if you stew with meat, no, 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 as a steak. Personally, I would never cook it more than medium. If it's a poor cut of meat, medium, but I would never cook it more than medium. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how you have your steak. This to me looks more to the medium rare side, which I think is how the chef likes it. It looks fantastic. Like the lamb, seasoned to perfection. The meat itself has just a fantastic quality to it. The marbling in both the cuts of meat, which if you guys aren't aware, fat, unlike what a lot of people think, fat really gives it just a tender, beautiful flavor. It really, really adds to it. That is an absolutely fantastic steak. The sides are similar to what I had with the rump. So the mash obviously is great because it's, it's the same one. The sauce, I actually haven't tried, so let me just give that a go. You know, I'm gonna have some of the sauce actually with the steak because hopefully it complements it well. I can see why people would travel the distance to come here because frankly, it's worth the drive, man. It's just worth the drive. That is one of the better steaks I've had up north for sure. That gets a hey, man. Both dishes, honestly, I've loved. But you know what, guys? Because it's a bit posh in here, and you don't know, I'm a bit of a dirt mugger. I just drink Diet Coke, but keeping in line with the posh theme, I'm gonna have an appetizer. I think the portion sizes actually, and for the price you pay, and the quality. You know, as a restaurant, if you're having a pricing strategy or you're deciding the prices you have, you have to take all these things into account. The portion sizes here, I would say, are, are very, very good. The quality of the meat, for me, is what stands out. It's very good. And for the price, you, you really can't go wrong. I'm not gonna name any names at many restaurants, many steakhouses that I've been to that are much more expensive than this and, and they're not as good at all. So you can't go wrong with the price, the quality. This is just an awesome, awesome T-bone steak. Something I wanna give a little bit of special attention to is actually their peppercorn sauce. Normally, I've had peppercorn sauce on many, many steaks. You know, hit and miss for me sometimes. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. This is one of my favorite ones. The depth of flavor in that sauce is fantastic. It's just got a lovely shine to it. It's fantastic on the lamb. I would probably have that actually on any, any steak here. This is a really big good peppercorn sauce. On the T-bone, what I actually had was a uh, mushroom and garlic sauce. That was fantastic as well. That would, in fact, I liked it so much. It was already on the plate, but they actually gave me an entire separate bowl of it as well. So that is absolutely delicious. So if you are coming here, I think the pepper, I mean, I've only tried the peppercorn in this sauce. Both sauces I've tried have been fantastic. So I can definitely recommend those. Can we just talk about that lamb again? Just for one second. Absolutely, hey man, that was, it's gotta be up there as one of the best lamb dishes I think I have ever had. That was phenomenal. I can see why this place is so popular. Just before I close out the video, guys, just one quick announcement. They've just told me, the owners, I've literally just had a chat with them. If you see the doors behind me, what they're going to do is actually renovate that whole space. It's actually, it's really, really big. It's massive. They're going to renovate that space and make it into a shisha lounge, which just elevates it. So you've got a restaurant and then the shisha lounge next door. Like I said, it's been renovated now. Um, but yeah, cool. I thought I'd just pop that in there. Right, so that's me done there. But I feel like I'm kind of gushing over this place. So I feel like I should say this video is not sponsored. They've not paid for me to come in, but... The food was just absolutely banging. Oh man, I love this place. Like I said earlier, you can see why it's popular. Definitely go for that lamb dish. Really good. I love the T-bone steak and the prices are just so reasonable. I think the T-bone was, I think it's 18 pounds, which for a T-bone steak with sides and amazing sauce. That is so cheap. The lamb as well, very, very, very reasonably priced. I think you'll be hard pressed to find a steak or lamb dish that good at that price point, I really do. But if you know somewhere, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but that does take me to the end of the video. Please make sure to like the video. It really helps with the exposure on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye 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 bye.